Hey guys, welcome back to Webdom Mentors YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to see about creating user modules, not the already existing modules, but this time we're going to create our own module and we're going to see how to use them in our program. So, first thing is first, I've created a file named as usermodule.py. Now, I'm going to write few definitions, like few functions, def, addition, simple functions not something very complex so don't worry a plus b which we're gonna return now and uh, enter again another multiplication Oops. a comma b again return a star b now we have done this file I'm gonna use this as a module user module dot py as a module in some other file and also going to access these two methods let's see how to do it first let's create a file let's name it as my program dot py enter and I'm going to enter three times and now I'm going to import my user module so you don't have to use dot py in here now how to access the methods from your module so user module dot addition now you have to enter the two parameters the arguments for your function so it's going to be 3 comma 4 now I'm going to use the user module again dot multiplication again 3 4 we have to print it out because we have used the return statement not the print statement so return will give me the value which I have to print now using the print statement run the file and you can see I got the result so this is how you have to create your module write multiple functions in it and in order to access them you have to import them first and just like how you imported the OS in a module that comes pre-packed with the Python you can use just the name not dot py so just the name is enough and once you've imported it you can use your module name dot access either the functions or else even the parameters there so let's create a variable string underscore var this is a string now go back to your file your program user module dot string bar now let's see whether it's working or not yes it is working so anything in that module you can access it through your program by just importing that module so this is how you can create your own module use them in some other program so you might have a question what is the reason why we have to do it now we have already talked about something called as reusability of code now this can be done using modules now reusability is like you write a code and you don't write it again in some other place you just use the same code again in some other place instead of writing it again now we've already seen that in the functions now we are going to module next we will be going into classes again classes can be written in the modules and can be accessed by them once we see the classes I'll be coming back again to the modules places where we can write some classes in some other module and access them from our program well, let's say in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video and also subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, issues, suggestions, or feedbacks, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Or else you can contact me through the Facebook page, Google Plus page, or else YouTube discussion section. So, you know, you can find the YouTube channel discussion and also in the Twitter feed. Well, you can find the links for them in the description section except the YouTube discussion. You know, the channel discussion can be found in the channel page. Well, let's see in the next video, guys. Keep watching the series. Thank you for watching.